Hey, good morning. Pastor Steve here. Matthew 7, 1 through 5 on a side road here called Logs and Specks. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, it will be judged. And will what measure you meet, it will be measured to you again. Why do you behold the mote that's in your brother's eye, but don't consider the beam in your own eye? How will you say to your brother, let me pull the splinter out of your eye, and look, a beam is in your own eye. You hypocrite. First cast out the beam out of your eye, and then you will clearly see that you can get the splinter out of your brother's eye. Judge not, this judge not thing, it means to judge in a condemning way. A condemning way. Uh, for instance, we make judgments all the time. If you're, you're going down through the park and you see this 20-year-old guy over there and he's beating this 9-year-old girl black and blue, you're going to make a judgment. It's a correct judgment. This is wrong, buddy. And we're going to stop it, right? That's a proper judgment. A lot of people who know nothing about Jesus or God of the Bible seem to think or at least hope that Jesus is giving kind of a, a carte blanche for any kind of lifestyle. Well, you can't judge me. Well, excuse me. By your fruits, Matthew 7, 15 and 16 says, you will know them. So there is some fruit inspection. Um, but we can't judge people uh, in a, a, a wrong sort of way. David Guzik makes a list here that I think is appropriate. We break this command when we think of the worst of others, when we only speak to others of their faults, when we judge an entire life by a few moments, when we judge the hidden motives of other people which we don't know, when we judge others without considering ourselves in the same circumstances, and we break it when we judge others without being mindful that we too will be judged. Jesus speaks about logs and speck. I, sh I share this um, story from Kent Crockett and to get the point across. Uh, the man pulled into the filling station, and while the gas was being run into his car, the attendant washes his windows off, and the guy looks up and says, you do that one time, there's a lot of specks and dirt on that thing. So the attendant gets away, and says, sorry, sir, and he do, you know, does his job, and he gets down, and the guy says, You're, that's terrible, do it again! So the guy does it again, and uh, he, he says, you are the most lousy, I, I have never seen a lousier window washer. He's about to get out of the car when his wife reaches across, grabs his glasses, and pulls them off and wipes them off with a tissue. Gives them back to him, and the guy slinks down in his seat because the window is spotless. See, you see, we often view others through our own dirty glasses, don't we? The dirt on our hearts causes us to see everything from an unclean, critical perspective. We become angry at what we perceive to be dirt on other people, when in reality, we, we're looking at others the dirt on our own hearts. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.